parents, so his parents were slaves. Yeah, now, I have, I'm sorry to mention this thing now. Is, it, is that usually when people talk about black history, they start talking about what? Slavery. Slavery. That's sick of it, man. Yeah, yeah, that's sick of it. You understand? It's got a little pit squeak piece of history. It's important. No, I didn't go like that. I was going to go like that. I'd start to do it properly, girl. <laughs> yes, so watch this one now. This is, this is God to God in Woodson. This is what he said. Now see if you recognize this. See if you recognize this now. Okay. When you control a human's thinking, you do not have to worry about their <laughs> actions. Would you agree with that? No. no. Yeah. So if I can control the way you think, I know what you're going to do. <coughs> Watch this. You do not have to tell them not to stand here or go yonder. They will find their proper place and will stay in it. Watch this. You do not have to send them to the back door. They will go there without being told. In fact, if there is no back door, they will come on for their special benefit. Their education makes it necessary. So for instance, today, which seats in this room filled up first? The back ones. We're going to sit as far away from the knowledge as possible, just in case we get something on. Have you noticed people do that? They always sit at the back, even though the information might be at the front of the room, they'll sit at the back furthest away, unless... It's like a pop star or someone famous. Then they'll be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll be piling in on the front. But like, ah, yeah. You understand me? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So people think, so what's this? That means people these days are generally said, do you know this country? You know we've got the second lowest literacy rate in Europe. Did you know this? Yeah. The more people in this country can't read and write properly than anywhere else in Europe. There's only Poland below us. We have the highest teenage pregnancy rate. We imprison more young people than anywhere else in Europe. Why? And do you know what? A lot of the people who got, get imprisoned are the children of the highest teenage pregnancy rate. Does this make sense? How much, watch this. If it costs roughly £4,000 to come to school, how much does it cost to go to young offenders? More. How much more? Ten times, right? you're about right. Well, it costs 30, about 35,000 pounds for one year. So 4,000 pounds in school, 35,000 pounds in, in prison. Does this make sense? Yeah. Well, it means that people are making a lot of money from the people who are in prison. Does this make sense? Yeah. The people who supply the lighting, the security systems, paying the prison office. Is this making sense? Yeah. You pay for things, yeah? So it's in some, some people's interest to say, We'll say, I was, watching, I was watching Ian Wright last night, and he was saying things, oh, the, uh, was it, we'll save you money, we'll save the government money. Well, the people who are giving all the money to, are getting the money to supply in the prisons, do they think, do they, do they want it to stop? No, no. No, because they're making big business. Anyway, that's got to go somewhere. Let, let me get on with this. He's the founder of Black History Month. It started back in 1926. So it's been going on a long time in the United States, shorter time over here, 1987 here, it started. Yeah? Now, let's look at this thing here. The historical ghetto. Have you heard the term ghetto before? Yes. Okay, it says here, most of the history of African people throughout the world is told through slavery. So you understand that peoples from Africa were used in slavery. Does that make sense? Yeah. In the program. What did slavery give you? Money how? Through what? Through work. Cheap work, yeah, but what did they grow? What kind of crops? Cotton, sugar, tobacco, sugar. coffee. Potatoes. See, sorry, what was that? Potatoes. Potatoes, no, that was the Irish slaves. <laughs> that was the Irish slaves. Yeah, yeah that, they, they were the, the first plantations in Britain. It's good that you said that, by the way, it's very good. The, the first plantations in Britain were in Ireland. So that idea was then spread into the Caribbean. Does this make sense? Yeah. Okay, so the Irish... In fact, the word slave, what people does it relate to? Who? Slavs. Good, good. Yugoslavia. 
Czechoslovakia, Slovenia. Does this make sense? So it doesn't actually relate to black people at all. But it's a process. Now watch this. It's a short period in our history considering that we are the oldest of the world's people. So they say that the oldest people on the planet, the first human beings, came from Africa. And yet, we look at a little piece of, I'll show you in a while, a little piece of history, a little piece of history you get restricted to. As Dr. John Henry Clark. The word ghetto itself, do you hear people use that term, ghetto? Yes, yeah, some people. Some people? Watch this. The quarter of a city, chiefly in Italy, to which the Jews were what? Restricted. Restricted. Meaning you can't come out. You've got to stay in that little space. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what happens is, is that people... Do you know this guy? Have you come across this guy before? No. Well, he's a guy who knows... Uh, do you listen to rap? Who is he? Rapper. Do you listen to rap music a lot? You listen to rap music? You listen to a guy called Tupac? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got shot. Well, he recorded under another name. You know what the other name was? No, no. That's Tupac. There's another name he used. Machiavelli. He used the name Machiavelli. And this is Machiavelli. This is who he named himself after. And he had two famous phrases. One was divide and rule, and the other one was divide and conquer. If you can split people up, it means they're easy to rule. That makes sense? Yeah. And it means that instead of looking at me, watch this. If I say, if I've got a beef with you, I don't like you, all I'm going to do, I'm not going to come and step to you. Do you know what I'm going to do? No, I'll never run. It attracts attention. I walk away if I had to. Yeah? What I'm going to do is find out who you have got beef with. You understand? So if we got beef with him, I'm going to go to him and then I may say it directly to him or I may send somebody to him to tell him that you've been dissing him. Then I'll get you two to start to... Then when I'm watching who's winning, if I've got beef with him, I think he might be too powerful, I'll back you up, get you to beat him, then I'll get you took out. Is what divide and rule, divide and conquer is about. School teaching have to do that a bit, isn't it? So, oh, sorry, are you a good teacher? I was working at a place in Ruthless, you understand me? What's this? Where are the true ghettos in the first world today? Where are the ghettos? Where are the ghettos? In America? What's this? What's this? What do you call what goes on in your brain? In your thinking. That's where a true ghetto is. So if you, don't, if you think, oh, oh yeah, I've got to stay here, I can't do this, I don't bother with that, under the, you'll be thinking small, thinking small. You won't believe that you can achieve. That's what true slavery is, true slavery. Watch this quickly. The brain is like the earth. Both have hemispheres. In fact, we're near, what's that line called? No, what's the line called? It provides symmetry, if it was, if you could, but what's it called? Mediterranean. It's an axis, yeah, but which one? No, no, we're close to it. Greenwich. And so that's called the Merid Merid Meridian. The Greenwich Meridian, thank you, man. So what it is, is that this, that's how they measure time all around the world. They set the clocks to what time it is at one o'clock each day in Greenwich. So you're near the main point there. And they say time is what? Money. Money. So you should be on it. You, should, you guys should be rich, but you didn't seem to know how much your education costs. Oh my gosh. What's this? The right hemisphere is used in the east more and the left hemisphere is used in the west more. But we'll not bother that. Just watch this one now. What goes on in the brain, we call the mind. What happens on the earth, we call the world. So guess what? Whoever controls the mind, controls the world. Does this make sense? Yeah. Well watch this, this is important for you. Whoever controls their mind, controls their world. 